we created this app and here we can delete one single item from the recycler view if you long click on any item then it shows this delete button and if you click on this item you can delete this item from this recycler view in this video i am going to change it to select multiple items like you can select four multiple items and you can delete all these items together first thing we need to change in the adapter class so previously we have one variable that was used to hold the currently selected index so i'm going to delete this variable and i'm going to create one it's a list and it's of type mutable list if the user if i wrong click on any item then i'm going to add that id inside this list okay so we need to change this functions the first one is the mark selected item so this one is called if i long click on any item so here what i'm gonna do so that we remove this one first thing i'm gonna check for if this selected list contains this index or not if selected list dot contains index if it contains this index if it doesn't contain this index then i'm gonna add this index to this list now i'm gonna iterate over this selected index one by one using one for each block and inside this block i'm gonna change the main data source that is the list data and for each selected index i'm gonna change the value of selected in list data as true update all the items of the list data as true and for all these items where we have set it marked it as true it will show these tick icons we don't need this one we have this notify data set change and we have this show hide delete true and return true delete selected item this will be called once we click on this and this delete button so in this but inside this function so first i'm going to check if the selected list is not empty if it is not empty then i'm gonna delete all values from this list data for which we have this marked as selected so it is item dot selected equal to equal to true so for all items in the list data if we have marked it as selected i'm going to delete this one and once the delete is completed then i'm going to call this notified data set changed one more function we need to change is the deselect item so this one is called if i click on the same item one more time if i long press then it selects if i just do one simple click then it deselects the item so here I'm gonna check for the selected list dot contains if it contains that index that means that this item is currently selected so I'm gonna remove it from this list then I'm gonna change the index of this from the main data source that is from list data and I'm gonna mark it as false then i'm gonna call this notify data sense and this show hide delete as false it's, it will not may not be false because previously we had only one item and if you are deselecting it then we don't have to show this delete button but now we have like multiple items so what i can write here like selected list dot is not empty it means if we don't have any item then we don't need to show this one so that if i long press on any item then it's selected and let me long press on another item then it's selected as two and three now if i click on this delete button and if i press delete then it deleted all these three items let me long 
delete this first two let and the last one if i make one single click then it dislikes this item so let me delete it okay it's deleted so that's all for now so i hope that you uh, learned how we can uh, implement like multiple selection in recycler view so if you have any query then please drop one comment and if you love this video please subscribe to my channel thanks bye